Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install a launch box for Dynamo for Revit 2022 and how you can work with it. So I want to go to Dynamo packages and I want to go to launch box for Dynamo and you see that they're mentioning that launch box has moved to a new installer. Right. So that means that the first or the last uh, version here does not exactly work. So I want to go to the one to the last version, which is 2018.7.7. I'm going to download it. And then if you go to your downloads folder, you need to extract this file. OK, uh, and then it's going to show four items. Uh, these four items. Uh, I'm going to make a new folder and I would uh, name it as lunchbox or something. And I want to move these four items to the lunchbox. And then you can delete the zipped file. We don't need it anymore. And you can uh, cut or copy this file in your users. Go to your username, whatever it is, app data, roaming, and Dynamo, Dynamo Revit, your version, whatever it is, and on their packages, you can copy it here. I have already copied that file, so you see those four items, I have copied them here. So uh, copy those items in this location. Uh, users, app data, roaming, Dynamo, Dynamo, Revit, the version, whatever the number is, and packages. And the next time you open Revit, I'm going to open a new project, maybe metric architectural template. I want to type UN to change the units on their length to meters, three decimal places, OK and OK. And then I want to go to manage Dynamo. Uh, let's open a new file. And now you should be able to see lunchbox here. If you don't see it, probably you didn't copy it in the right location. Uh, so how does it work? Let's say maybe I have a wall here in Revit. So I want to draw a wall, maybe going from uh, level one to level two, some wall in here. Okay. And I want to select the face of this wall. So feel free in Dynamo, right click, go with select. I want to go with select face. It could be a floor surface or a wall or a mass surface. All of them would work. Now the surface is known in uh, Dynamo. I can go to launch box. I want to go to geometry. Uh, there are options between panels and structures. Basically, panels give you surfaces, but uh, structures give you uh, the frames the surrounding uh, lines of a surface. So I can go to, let's say, for instance, wire hexagons, and I want to compare it with panel, panel hexagon. So I want to show you what's the difference in between the two, right? So uh, how about I move this here, go here, I want to uh, first, maybe I can try the panel. I want to connect surface to surface. Then I want to maybe hide the surface itself because it's going to be too um, cluttered, maybe. To you and we, we're going to assign to integer slider. So I want to right click, go with slider, integer slider. Let's say at minimum, I need five items. At maximum, maybe 30. Okay, and I want to uh, go with Control C, Control V. Maybe we have different values on the U and V side. So uh, one of them goes to U, one of them goes to V. And if I hover the mouse around T, you see it says parameter for a adjusted hexagons between zero to one. So I want to go with a number slider, which is between zero to one, and we'll see how it works. So it's going to be between zero and one. I'll leave it somewhere in the middle for now. I'm going to assign this to T. As soon as I do that, you're going to see that we have some points here and we have a surface, right? Uh, you notice that these nodes, unlike a usual 
nodes in Dynamo, they have multiple outputs. If I want to select only one output, I can right click type identity, object.identity, and I can separate that single output. For instance, if I connect hexagon points to object, if I turn the preview of this one, it will only give me the uh, result points, right? And let me see if I change this, you see, uh, basically the points uh, change slightly. Okay, uh, it seems that when you put it on point one, there would be no points. So I want to change the minimum to point one. So there would be no zero here. Also, maybe I would change the maximum to point nine because it does not work on number one either. Okay. If I connect hexagon panels to the object, it's, uh, it creates panel and so on. Uh, and then if I move this, it's going to change that slightly. This is basically a set of panels next to each other. Now let's see how the structure works. If I connect surface to surface and I want to connect U to the U, V to the V, and the hexagon shape adjustment A is what we had as T here. It's just a different name. So uh, the last number slider, which is between point 0.1 and point 0.9, goes to A. And for T, you see it says it's a Boolean, which means it's a yes, no function. If you right click on the background, type B -L -O -L, Boolean, it's a true false statement that will go to T. And uh, now, let's see what we have here. If I connect lines to the objects, we're only going to see the lines. If I connect points to the objects, we're only going to see the points. I like this one better for now. So I want to get rid of the other one, which was panel. And I want to keep the structure wire hexagon. And if you remember, I brought it from the structure menu. Feel free to try other geometries under structure and under the panel menu. Now, what can I do with these uh, hexagons? Uh, first, I can actually also adjust it by changing, uh, changing the values that we have here. I can move this to uh, left and right and get different things here uh, by adjusting the shape. Basically, it's changing uh, the angle actually here. Okay, now what can I do with it? We have a set of lines here. How about I extrude those lines? So I want to go with extrude, direction, and distance. If I connect the object, which we know it's a line, to curve, it's going to extrude it up because uh, the direction by default is usually uh, Z. But because this wall is aligned the green axis, the normal of that would be the X axis. So I want to right click, go with X axis. If you are not sure, just try uh, both X and Y. One of them would be good. And now I have them in this other direction and they're extruded by one meter. Let's say maybe we want to assign different values. So I want to assign a maybe a sequence or a range of numbers. Uh, how many numbers do I want to assign? As many as I have the object. So I want to count the numbers in that list of the objects and assign it to the amount. If I hover the mouse around here, you see it says one object, but I don't have one. I have 100 objects or something, right? Uh, the thing is, they're actually in one list, and inside that list, I have these objects. So I need to flatten this list, so it's going to give me the right number. I want to go with flatten. Uh, I want to flatten this list, and then I want to assign it to be uh, extruded as curves, and then this also goes to my list. So now you see I have 103 numbers here. And I have 103 numbers there. So now this sequence will create 103 numbers. Let's say each time I want to increase the step size, which is the amount of extrusion by 0 0.01. And I want to assign 0 0.01 to the start. So the first uh, hexagon would not be extruded by 0. This goes to my distance. And now you see I have actually a set of increasing um, amount of extrusion four different hexagons 
uh, if I organize things a little bit here, uh, these first few nodes are responsible to create the hexagons. And these items here, this is giving me the amount of extrusion. And this last two items here are giving me the actual objects. Uh, and see the last item, uh, if you scroll down, is extruded by one meter, which is a little bit too much. Feel free to change this to point uh, maybe zero 0.5, so the last object would not be too uh, thick. Okay, and uh, now that we have surfaces, we can thicken the surface either on both sides or on one side. I'll go with this one, which gives me more options. So surface goes to surface. Maybe I want to assign a thickness of five centimeters or something and for now the both sides is set to true by default I can bring another boolean and if I assign for instance false it's going to be extruded or thickened only on one side now you see they have actual thickness if you change it to true it's going to be thickened on both sides so uh, I can actually create a group here and these are hexagons and these are solids uh, you can go with solid by union so turn them into one if i go with solid by union no matter how many solids i have they will be all considered as one and you can easily import it into revit so i tried the hexagons here feel free to try uh, other ones here the uh, grids, the diagrids, etc. And feel free to try different uh, triangular panels uh, here as well. Uh, that's it for this video. Please uh, like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much.